Hello everyone, my name is Chris, and welcome back to even more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last time, we took out Kyodve, and we took out his entire fortress place thing that he set up and tried to... tried to spit in our face. Mix words. But we, with our brother, we kicked in with Sigurd, and we stomped out their place, and we allied with King Harold. He was a, a young, young, younger, young, inexperienced, I guess, but uh, he had his forces with ours, um, and we took out and killed Kjotve. And then he summoned all the clans of Norway here. And that is where we're going. We're going to the meeting of the clans. Um, also, last time we have our hood up because the nice assassin gentleman taught us how to hide in crowds amongst also being able to use our hidden blade properly. And we, we tried... We tried to chest up, but due to the treaty here, we couldn't do anything. We had to, uh, not kill that coward for escaping. But now, we must go to the all thing. Sorry. Find out exactly why he's called us here. And for what purpose? Tell me Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Hafdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? Ooh. I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble hero. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this, Lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Back out! You lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Ooh. Oh, God. Uh, honestly. I gotta kill him. He's a fucking piece of shit. And he talked a lot of shit. So, you know what? You know what? Yeah, kill I'll him. I'll send him to hell, as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm, and call you Exiled. 
Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. Damn, he's worm now. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You wow. said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. Yikes. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. What the hell? That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjörn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. Ooh. I mean, I don't know my fate. I'm bound to Sigurd. My brother. I seek Valhalla. Damn, this is... These choices. I... I... Valhalla is my goal. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. That happened so quick. Shit. So he, he's trying to unite all the clans under his own rule. And he seems like a nice guy. You know, he seems like he has, you know, the right intentions. We don't really know his intentions completely. Um, Harald's and... colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. He's... You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. You know, I, I lived here before y'all moved in. Are you one of Harald's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harald take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Halfdan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. Damn, I can kill anybody. Interesting. I gotta go find Sigurd. What the hell? So, literally... 
Uh, he gave up our entire our lands to him, to King Harald, without even telling anybody. A little jacked up. So, okay, so uh, since I can't see the marker, I don't technically know where he is. So I use the, do I use my raven to see it? I would assume he's in here. It's Eivor. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian ways. Quiet all. Give me a chance. Damn, everyone's pissed. Two yeah, days no one's ago, happy about this. We rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. Hmm. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Chadvis Riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. He's within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. I, uh... First off, Ragnar is here? He's He's got a place out here? Holy shit. I wonder if we'll ever come across his clan. That'd be pretty badass. But, uh... Yeah, ah. Uh, okay, so we're gonna leave. We could take his... We could take the resources, because we did technically earn it. We did, and starting out there with jack shit would be really hard. Um... But the right thing would be to leave it because we don't want to leave, uh, we don't want to burn the bridge with Sturbjorn. So we're going to leave them and hopefully make it a little bit easier. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. Damn, so we're gonna do this secretly. You gonna say How anything? How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. All right, Valka. Ah. This is nuts, so we, we, we lost our land, so now we're going to go find our new one on our own. Make it ours. Our own place. Speak to Sigurd at the docks. Oh, that's cool. I was hoping it would do that. Alright. Ugh, jeez. But we gotta do this quietly, because 
We don't want to... We don't want to alert Harold's men. And then I, I worry like that we're going to make enemies of them. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? Would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you Moon Knight magpie. Leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. Rude, but probably accurate. Damn, we're all here. What's up, Sigurd? Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Honestly, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I, I am ready. Good spot. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look. Ah, oh, shit. flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anchor, lord. No, you must be his better half. May Agiv bless your voyage. To an extent, I get it though. Like, he's mad. Like, for for different things, he's mad because, like, he's not going to be able to be king <gasps> now. You know. But then, also, like, the, the strong independence and the honor of the clan was kind of just, like, handed over. Like, on a whim. And so it's like, I get it. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The songs of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! Oh shit. Oh my god, that's the title? We got it. we got it guys. We did it. This is where it starts. This is where the game starts. What? 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 Oh uh, that was a little jarring. Okay, I I get it. That's right. They're trying to bring the animus and everything be... Alright, sure. We'll see how it goes. You know? I 
after Brotherhood, the story's kind of just been strange with the real world. Citrus flavor. Oh my god, he's still Thanks, around. Sean. What is happening? Like overall. How do we like, fix this? How are you the key to everything? Key to everything. Wait, is this Eivor? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. The fuck? Yeah, where are we? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is like... Like, oh man. The, the pole out of out of that was was a lot can I go inside can I not go inside that way would love to play around but I have bigger things on my mind hello okay there we go Doo -doo -doo. did you get my tea Oh, Son, what the hell? tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Yeah, I fear the real world. So that'd be nice. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, Damn. we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. So everything, everything's basically kind of fucked up in general. Like, Abstergo's still the bad guy, right? Yeah, they're still fucked up, they're still terrible. They're still the Templars and all that. Um... Oh, what the hell? That's quite nice. Soothing. Is it? Let's What's have on a the look. laptop? Oh, dear God. What? Pictures? Wow. Why are we here? Uh... Does any of this mean anything? I'll probably, you know what, 
I'll look over that. I'll look over that. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. What the hell is that? Is it a spear? Okay. I have like a million questions and none of this is helping. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Yep. Remember that. Remember that. If you have tomatoes, don't refrigerate them. They go terrible rapidly in the fridge. Room temperature on the counters or in a bowl or in a cabin. Hello, Layla. Hello? Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk Strange. about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. This is really bizarre. This is so bizarre. So is that staff... Is that, like, kind of on the same level as the Apple of Eden? Because that would be... Feeling okay? Better. Concerning. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds. Fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels... dense. Noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. When what is over? I guess we'll find out. But in the meantime... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's go back. Alright, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. A week? It took seven days to cross that? Oh, good lord. I mean, it makes sense. Just to sail in oars. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go in. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here, to this place, to a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have, our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. It's a lot of weight. I lived, I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. I'm 
unsettling, oh. that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. So wherever they got that message from, led them here. Wolf kissed Eivor. And all of this is the key to stopping the world from ending? That's that's a lot. That's a lot. That's pretty intense. Okay. Wow. So beautiful. England. God damn. There she is, England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all, and will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must Agreeable. not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory, the Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy! Taking your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes, I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragna know that we're coming? They do not. But they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference! Whatever guess... strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Oh my god. I love this banter, it's so fucking great. <laughs> oh my god. Look uh... there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Doug. There will be time enough for raiding, once we have settled. Interesting. Come to right. stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Damn, you stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, eh? Something like that. Calm yourself. Something like that. Oh, I love it so. So this is a re literally our first time being here and seeing this, and oh. Okay. 
This is dangerous. We're gonna try to sneak through. Oh, that's not enough to take him out. I must be careful now. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta be very careful. Shit. Is there anyone else around? Because I'm about to... about to kill this dude. I don't want him to see. So maybe I kill him first? Can I kill him first? Okay. Probably not. Okay, okay, he's leaving, he's leaving, he's leaving. This is great. You're dead, kid. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta put him in. Alright. So drop him here. Easy. Easy. And then we're gonna climb up here. And you're dead. Okay. So now we gotta be... We gotta be smart. Oh, if he comes back, I'll, I'll draw... I'll drop us. I'll drop, drop, stab, drop, stab him. I'll, I'll. Come on. Come on. So close. And you're dead. Yeah, I gotta. Ah. Uh, the whole bodies thing. Okay. Okay. We just have this guy and then Okay, so this guy up there. That's it, it's just these guys. Okay. Easy. Side. No one will ever speak of you ever again. This chain is huge and poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. And I just might. I just might. But I kind of want to kill everybody here first. And you're down too. Alright, is there anybody else? Ooh, what is this? Titanium. Hot damn. Ooh, a chest with some supplies. Just supplies. Just all around supplies. I wonder what that could be for. Let's see. River chain blockade. After conducting several trials, we have found that these naval chains will hold against even the most durable Danish longships. As long as the mechanism remains intact. Several more blockades will be constructed in the coming months and are to be installed to the rivers leading inland. This is our first defense against any forthcoming incursions. It's imperative that these blockades be maintained and kept operational at all times. Any failure of function is to be reported immediately. Okay. So this is a this is their plan to just block like all river all riverways. Can I hit it from here? I could hit it from right there. Boom. The path is clear. Path is clear. Hey boys, back to the boat. We should be close now. Firing any more surprises. Pick me up. Damn. I don't want to say like y'all could have come a little closer, but yeah, kind of probably could have come a little closer. Fine work. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. 
We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be True. on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. I mean, true. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dak? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Hmm. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And now yeah, we will. Crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. That's Where pretty the sons deep. Of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. What the hell? What's going on here? Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and Ragnar I will go together. Encampment. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Hopefully, friends. Be pretty cool to make friends with Ragnarsons. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! Yeah. On me! <laughs> oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there? Rude. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norse men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Bakrout. Oh, oh shit. And we're going to continue that on the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was intense. Okay, so I saw the real world shit, which we don't even, I don't even know what the hell is going on with that. That's, that's weird. Somehow Avar is the key to saving the planet. The entire planet from being destroyed so that's interesting uh that was a that was a weird just change of pace all of a sudden um but no now we're on our way we're making our new home uh in england and so far it's not going exactly as planned uh, a lot of resistance a lot of plans from basically from the from yeah, the the England Englanders trying to stop people from coming through, like blocking the river ways and everything like that. Um, and then we're at the Ragnarsons encampment, and they're they're not here from what we see. So that's strange, concerning. But we're gonna find out what that's all about on the next episode. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like the video, please hit a like on. Consider subscribing. So I'll put up content as often as possible, whenever I get a chance, as often as I can. And so we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.